All right, thank you everybody for coming. Uh, isn't it funny when, when you ask somebody how they're doing and they reply with living the dream? Uh, you wonder what they mean and if they really believe that's the way they, they live their life. Uh, or is that just uh, them talking the game? Uh, let me tell you what I think living the dream is, okay? Living the dream is being born into a family with about 14 brothers and sisters. Born to a father who was a World War II veteran and a mother who was a homemaker. A very poor family where the stories of only so many pairs of shoes to go around and a lot more kids. My mother, my father tells his story of his private school days uh, at a young age. Only years later I found out those schools were actually like many jails uh, for kids that uh, got into some trouble. He spent years in the army where he got involved in boxing. His interest in boxing at the time wasn't due to a real interest in the sport, uh, but it was a way to get out of weekend duty. Uh, boxers got the weekends off lots of times and uh, that was right up his alley. Once out of the army, he started training my mother's brother, my mother's brother Mike. Uh, and that's really where boxing got going for him. Uh, my father, over the course of the years, and right up to this day, would work with thousands of boxers in many different aspects of their boxing careers. He opened the Uncle Sam Boxing Club in West Sand Lake. Uh, a lot of the West Sand Lake guys are here, and ran, and then and then turned it into the Uncle Sam Boxing Club in Troy, and now he's up in uh, Altona. It's a little cold up there. I don't know why he went that way. Yeah. Uh, he, wor he worked as a trainer in his younger years, a cut man as well as a manager, promoter, and advisor. He has worked with not only the local fighters, many of which are here today, uh, but many national fighters and world champions, uh, some that are here today as well. He has been a world traveler with too many trips to count to such places as Russia, Germany, Italy, France, Romania, Ireland, and Argentina. Uh, and let us not forget how many times we took that nine-hour car ride to Jean-Quier, Quebec, Canada. Uh, that car ride is nine hours on a good summer day, and I think we all know how many good summer days there are in Canada. Uh, I've watched my father interact and deal with people with hundreds of millions of dollars, and also with the 12-year-old inner-city kid who couldn't even afford the USA boxing license fee, and he treats them both the same, with the same smile and the same laughs. The only difference is lots of times he would reach into his pocket and pay the fee for the poor kid's license. <clears throat> My father is a dad to six children. At least that's the ones we know about. <laughs> but he has been a father figure and someone to talk to and get help from for over thousands of kids through the years. <clears throat> he has taught and guided so many of us not just about boxing, but about life about making the best of your talent and your situation. He is someone who we are very proud of and blessed to have as part of our family. And by our family, I don't just mean us kids and, and uh, his wife and here, I also mean all of you, his boxing family. I couldn't imagine a guy more deserving the honor of being inducted in the New York State Boxing Hall of Fame than my father. Thank you to all who have attended this special event, and thank you, Homer, for all you have done for us, and I'm happy to say you are definitely living the dream. Hello everyone. First and foremost, I would like to thank everyone who has come to celebrate such a great achievement for my father. I would also like to thank those who are not only here tonight, but who have been here for his entire journey. I am incredibly proud of not only the great accomplishments of him being inducted into the Boxing Hall of Fame, but every small achievement he has done as well. Behind closed doors, he has done many things that a lot of people have never seen. He has helped kids through the streets with not many family members to help. He is a role model, a teacher, a father in all senses of the word. The lessons he has taught me will forever be remembered. But what amazes me the most is all, is all the children's lives he has touched outside of our tight family circle and throughout his entire career. I was in Boston over the weekend, had some fights that were on NBC. I was up close to the ring, which was a pretty neat thing to see at a world championship fight. Um, I was at the concession stand, and, and a guy comes up to me, and he asks me, hey, are you a fighter? And we got talking, small talk, and um, I, I've never seen this guy in my life before. And um, I said, yeah, I'm from um, upstate Albany, New York. 
And um, he said, oh, is that near Troy? And I said, yeah, 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 absolutely. It's, you know, 10 minutes. And he goes, wow, I used to come up to a gym there, uh, Uncle Sam Boxing Club. And um, obviously I was young when, when this was going on, but uh, my brother my brother was there, uh, Billy was there, a lot of, a lot of everyone here uh, remember Uncle Sam Boxing Club, and, and that was the gym. And uh, he, and along with a few other people that were there um, in the conversation, had brought up my father and said, man, I've done uh, business, I brought up fighters, uh, we've met them here, we've met them there for the last 45 years. So um, hearing that from a guy that I've never seen before, you know, three hours away in, in, at a boxing event um, is a neat thing. And, and it shows how important it is in the lives that he has touched. Um, as my brother said, you know, a lot of people don't recognize what someone like my father does to people. He touches everyone's lives, not just the, the boxing aspect, but what comes with it. And, and he teaches people to come off the street with dedication, uh, support of a family, um, you know, to, to be a man. And that's something that a lot of people don't realize. It's not just about going there and beat somebody up. It's, it's, it should learn so much self-respect. Some people come in there with no security. Uh, they're insecure, and, they, and 10 years later, they're, they're the, you know, the house of the party, you know what I mean? So I, I as, as a son, am very proud of what he's done. I, I can't uh, say it enough. He, he, he's a guy that's been around the world, coming from a very poor family, like my brother said, and we are nothing but proud of him, and, and, and this is well-deserved. It probably should have happened 25 times by now, but uh, we're grateful, and, and we thank everybody for being here. I've known Bob for over 30 years now. He's taught me a lot about boxing. Nobody's done more in up, for upstate boxing than Bob. The man truly has done it all. He's been a trainer, a manager, a promoter. He's one of the best cut men in the world. Um, nobody's more deserving of this induction than Bob. I'm really proud of him, and I'm also very proud to call him my mentor. Congratulations, Bob. Very nice. Larry had this name at work and the guys in the gym. 